Welcome to this Google Apps screencast. In this screencast, we're going to look at Google Docs and specifically how to make and manage collections. Here I am in my Google Docs account. I've already been creating some files for different classes. I don't have any folders or collections yet. And what collections are, are folders. They're a way to organize your files so that you can keep things organized in your Google Docs account. Over on the left side, you'll see an area called My Collections and an area called Collections, collections Shared With Me. Next to these choices are little arrows. These arrows allow you to expand or contract so you can see the collections that are in there. There you'll see there's currently no collections here. We're going to create our first one right now. To create a collection, you go to Create, and you choose Collection, and you give the collection a name. So we'll call this Language Arts. Since I have some Language Arts files, I want to organize into a collection. So here's the collection. Notice it has a little icon of a folder in front of it. You know you're in the collection when you're clicked on it. You'll see that it's red and it's currently showing there's no files here. I haven't put any files in this collection yet. I'm going to go back to my home area by clicking on home. This is where I can see all my files at any time. Here's a language arts file that I want to put into that collection. So I'm using Chrome. What I can do is I can click and hold on that file and drag and drop it on top of the collection and it will add it to that collection. Now you'll see up here it says it's been added to the language arts collection. Next to the actual file you'll see it says language arts. So anytime you put a file into a collection, the collection name will appear just after the file name. The files don't move. The files will always be shown in the home area. But if you go click on the collection then you'll be able to see what files you've assigned to that collection. So it's a way to sort. Uh, the, the collection works more like, ta like a tag, like you're tagging this file saying that it's in that collection. Let's say I wanted to add a few files. I can add more than one file at a time. Let's say that this file and this file are both part of my language arts class. I can check the little checkbox as I did there and I could drag and drop them to that collection. Another way to do this is when you click the checkboxes, if that's not working for you, if it's a little awkward, you can come up to the Organize button, which is a little picture of a folder. When you click on that, this shows the collections that are available to you. And notice in front of the collection, there's a checkbox as well. So because I checked those two files, and I now check this box, and I hit Apply Changes, that adds those two files to the Language Arts collection as well. And you'll see now it says Language Arts after the file. If I go to the Language Arts collection, those files also show up there as well. Another nice feature of collections is when you mouse over the collection, there's a little option arrow here to the right. When I click on that option arrow, a choice in here is to change color. So I can give a color to this collection. Let's say I want it to be blue. Then when I go back to my home area and I look at this, I look at my files, you'll see that that tag is also that color as well. So as you build your files and files and files, you can color code things just for ease of being able to find things. Uh, find files as you create more and more files and collections. So that's a little bit with getting started making collections, moving files into collections, and, and creating an organization structure for your Google Docs account. Thanks for watching.